So as part of the quantum multiverse bifurcator project, I'm, I've been experimenting with trying to make the most minimalist uh, binary quantum outcome device. Um, and right now I want to walk through a prototype that I've been working on. So this is kind of an early version of it. And the way it works is that these two detectors right here measure how much uh, light is hitting each of them. I have another detailed post about everything that went into the, making the electronic circuit. But basically what happens is that whichever one of these detectors happens to have a slightly higher voltage on it, that LED turns on. Even when you try to balance the amount of light, there are always little tiny fluctuations. The fluctuations can come from different places, um, but I think that at least some of the fluctuation is coming from true quantum randomness and the number of photons that are actually coming from the light source itself. Um, so this turns out to work okay in the prototype, but it's really hard to keep the amount of light stable between the two detectors. So in the next version, I tried adding this container with a light aperture on top. And so if I use a stable light source, this makes it so it's a lot easier to calibrate the device. So to demonstrate how it works, I can just take the box and move it around underneath the light source. And um, you can see the blue and the red lights light up depending on where the box is relative to the light. And so if we get it right at the edge of where it switches from blue to red, so we can adjust the aperture. And as we do that, we can see that it goes from red to blue. Then we can see that it starts to randomly jump back and forth. And so now this is the point where you can use it to perform a quantum measurement and get a random output. Um, and that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching. Bye.